In today's episode, a mix and match system of six building blocks of five ingredients each to create a lifetime of healthy, tasty Mediterranean salads that can become a whole lunch or dinner in one bowl. Welcome to Mediterranean Minutes, the channel that helps you learn to eat the Mediterranean way every day. You really can make thousands of Mediterranean salads from this simple system. And here's the math to prove it. But you don't have to do any math to make tasty salads every day. Just pick some ingredients you probably already have on hand and start mixing and matching. Let's get into the details about the six things that make a great Mediterranean salad and how to put them all together in ways that make you actually want to eat salad every day. The system is simple, healthy, and totally personalized. Just make sure to include healthy ingredients from the Mediterranean plate for six essential parts of any salad to make it a whole meal. Which ingredients you choose in your mix, totally up to you. And how to match them up in a perfect combination, hey, that's your choice too. But I always try to come up with five things that cover my personal preferences about salad. Number one, it's gotta be crunchy. Number two, it's gotta be juicy. Number three, it's got to be creamy. And number four, it's got to fill me up in a healthy way. And number five, it's got to be dressed with something that pulls it all together. Those are just my must-haves, but you pick yours. And for now, let's dig into the six essential parts. And if you're interested in a little cheat sheet for this system, you can download a free PDF at my website after you finish watching the video. I'll leave a link in the description. Number one, the base. Pick either greens or grains to get your salad going. You're gonna want about one and a half cups of either. Probably all depends on what you have on hand and what you're in the mood for. My typical five picks for greens are arugula, baby spinach, mixed greens, romaine, and watercress, which just happens to be super popular in Spain. If you prefer Boston lettuce, kale, iceberg, or bitter greens, it's your turn to create your own list for mix and match choices to have on hand. When I'd rather have a base of grains for my salad, my top five picks for grains are beans or lentils, farro, my hands down favorite whole grain, pasta or couscous, whole grain rice, and quinoa, the super grain I love to make ahead and keep in the freezer so it's ready to go. And by the way, I have a video about that, so if you're interested, check it out. And again, shoot for about one and a half cups of cooked grains per serving. Double if there are two of you that are ready to enjoy a healthy lunch or dinner, or just multiply by the number of mouths you have to feed. Whoa, whoops, <laughs> more math, but that was pretty easy, right? So now that you have your bases covered, let's talk about the second category, protein. There's lots of options when it comes to healthy proteins, but I usually go for ingredients that are already in the pantry or in the fridge and I plan to use about three to four ounces per serving for one of each of these five. Chicken. I love buying a whole roasted chicken and just shredding up the leftovers for salads. Eggs. Makes it super simple when you have some hard boiled eggs in the fridge. Salmon. Great simply pan sauteed. Shrimp. Pre-cooked frozen shrimp is super popular here in Spain, but I like to take a few extra minutes to saute it myself in some garlic, olive oil, and spices. And tuna, crack open a can, and if it's prepared in olive oil like mine, save some money and use that oil for the dressing. If you're following a vegetarian lifestyle, then you already know options like tofu and tempeh are excellent choices too. And as I mentioned in part three of my Mediterranean diet series, I'm learning to enjoy tofu as another protein option as winning me over. Number three, vegetables and fruits. This is the part that gives any salad its personality. It's also the part that you can have the most fun with because pretty much anything goes from what's already in your pantry in your fridge to what you discover in season and fresh at the market. The rule is just to make sure vegetables and fruits are a key part of your creation and make sure you include at least one cup per serving when you do. This is the part I'm guilty of overdoing sometimes. But hey, when it comes to fruits and veggies, the more the merrier. Remember, it's the largest slice of the Mediterranean plate. The vegetables that most often make it into my bowls include asparagus, bell peppers, broccoli, cauliflower, edamame, tomatoes, and zucchini. 
And if I had the time to roast some of these all together on a sheet pan, it really amps up the flavor. And the five fruits I usually have on hand are apples, avocados, berries, grapes, and oranges. But if I come across something incredible, seasonal, or on sale at the grocery store, I'm going for it, and you should too. Number four, Mediterranean flavor treats. You probably know how much I love layering flavors in almost every dish I make, and salads are no exception. Plus, adding little treats makes it that much more likely I'm gonna to wanna to eat the salad. Just remember to think of these as little treats. They're not meant to be the star of the show, just supporting actors. Cheeses, like my favorites, feta, parmesan, manchego, and goat cheese. Dried fruits, whether they're figs or dates, raisins, dried cherries, dried cranberries, all kinds of fresh herbs, a healthy handful of different roasted nuts and seeds, and it's the Mediterranean, so of course olives end up on the table or in the salad at most meals. Number five, crunchy toppings. Remember when I said that one of my must-haves is something crunchy? Well, I might get it from the type of greens I pick or the types of raw fruits or veggies I add, but it's a guarantee there will be crunch there when I layer on a little bit of one of these five favorites. Dehydrated fruit, like my latest love, raspberries, roasted edamame, the popular Spanish topping, fried onions, pomegranate seeds when they're in season, and fried lentils. Number six, dressings. We're down to the final essential element of any great salad, and it's a really important one, because how you dress your salads can make it sing or sag. And after all this effort, we definitely want it to be music to our ears. So plan to add about two tablespoons per serving. You want the dressing to show off the ingredients, not overwhelm them. So go light, but go flavorful. Most days I use a very simple combination of extra virgin olive oil, lemon juice or vinegar, a touch of spicy mustard, and some salt. In other words, a little classic vinaigrette is my go-to for most salads. My other favorites, though, include dressings from videos that can be found on my channel. Caesar, who doesn't love it? Green Goddess, or what I call my everything sauce, honey mustard, and an Asian vinaigrette. Well, with all those ideas, I'm getting hungry, so I'm ready to put together a great Mediterranean lunch today, and I hope this video inspires you to do the same. And if you want to learn more about eating the Mediterranean way every day, then please remember to subscribe and stay tuned for more tasty ways to turn ordinary ingredients into extraordinary dishes. Or just start by clicking on this playlist.